This is the back of the skull here. We're going here, just like this right here. We have a model for the jury. We explain exactly what we're drawing here. And we explain that the brain is in two lobes, right and left lobe in the skull, so that's right up here. And that the brain stem comes down and in the cord. And at the two vertebrae here that we're talking about, it's in discussion where the ligaments were torn and where it's uh, uh, squashed over onto the spinal cord and uh, shutting off life force to the body, causing the damage. And uh, now we show them real quickly with some charts. And we have white matter inside in the brain, and we have gray matter outside in the cord that reverses. Gray matter's out, and the white matter's in. So the white matter that was in comes through the medulla and goes out. The gray matter that was out comes through the medulla and it goes in. And so now we start to have a crossing of the fibers that we do not have anywhere else. But if this bone has come over on our x-ray that we have up there and it's pressing on to the medulla creating problems in the periphery. Arthritis, neuritis, bursitis, whatever, so forth. And I said, now we know this is a very important area because we showed it to you in the books. But now watch this is what the jury knows. I said, you and I have seen that I always have a red mark to indicate blood. Now forget that. That was not just an accident. I said, now you've seen President Reagan on a Simpson uh, attempted assassination with, Pre uh, with Press Secretary Brady. He was shot right through the brain. He's still living. He's on 2020 the other night. You know what I mean? He was shot right through the brain. Governor Wallace, he's a governor of Alabama right now. He was shot right through the spinal cord. Now, they're both injured, but they're not dead. You can shoot right through the spinal cord and live, right through the brain and live, through your arm and live, through your leg, through your foot, through your shoulder and live. Cannot shoot through this area. Not only can you not shoot through it, you cannot do any. The slightest injury to the medulla is instant death. Get somebody right in the back of the head, dead that instant. Not tomorrow, and they're not hurt, they're dead. This is where our control comes from. We once thought the brain controls us, we now know it does not control us because you can shoot right through it and still go ahead. It stores information. And it generates energy. It does not control us. This is our control, and we call this, for all practical purposes, Houston control. This is where it all happens, right here.